lifesaver. Right, so got some different brakes on today because the hopes were giving me grief in that my hands were just dead after long descents. But these are a lot grabbier, however, they're not really that that bedded in, so I'm just gonna you know do the safe thing and bed them in down here. Pads are rattling. I can hear that. They are very different to what I'm used to. I.e. the brakes that I've been riding for the last well two years. That's cool. Should we have a little fiddle while we're here? Right in the middle of the track. Oops. since the other day. I have to say, these brakes are weird. Literally the slightest touch and you're stopping. I'm not used to that. So this may be a slightly slower run. Oh wow, look at this. This was all flight right the other day. What a beaut. say people that say they don't have any modulation they're wrong because these feel amazing oh bon jenny that back end it's so easy to lock up now Probably should have ridden a trail I haven't just ridden twice to get used to these brakes. So fast at the moment. Oh, hello. Thank you. I mean, fair play on a hard tail. Not easy. Very, very easy to lock that back wheel up. Thank you. That's the one that always catches me out because it's not a burn. It's a flat turn. little break. Well, so far, it's still weird, but so good.
Yeah, so the brakes I had before were Hope V4s and they're probably as powerful as these but you've got to pull the lever really hard to get to it whereas with these a little press and it's all there all at once little case little case again oh wow feeling good It's just so easy to skid. What is that? And that's the 180 rotor. So I've got two Galfa rotors coming because apparently they're, because I'm using the Hope ones still, they're not as good. So I try to think how powerful they're going to be. I did it again every time. This is the jank. Jank. Yeah, that's the way to do it, mate. Straight line it. Second run on the new brakes down this track. Oh. <laughs> okay, getting a bit more comfortable with them, it's safe to say. Oh, me, I'm in the wrong gear. They could do with putting the berm in a bit sooner. It's so dusty. I don't know if there's any where the grip is. Oh, I keep forgetting about that little cut through. seat is loose again they must have done that when they were fucking fitting the brakes oh that's not right no oh, for god's sake right before the two decent jumps as well Shit. gopro is definitely going to go flat 30 percent battery do that up a bit tighter and then right can we make, over, make it over this jump from here? I reckon we can. No, we can't. Because we're poorly steeled. It's almost like you're just squeezing your knuckles to break. You're not squeezing your knuckles, but you're not pulling the lever anywhere near as much. Not sketchy. The front's not really bedded in, so I've barely used it. The back brake is so powerful. <laughs> yeah, 
these are obscene. Wow. High and low. There we go. This turns nice. And then when we come around here, this turn here is not a berm. Oh no, it is, this one. And the next one is not a berm. No, this one is a berm. This one here. A flat corner. It looks like a berm. Wow, wow, we were. Uh, oh. Right, we'll try not to hit our hand on this monstrosity tree trunk. Does that hurt? Oh. Actually, going around right handers now as well. Yeah, it's still a bit grabby. Let's get used to it still. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding. So much faster. It's got so much more confidence in the brakes. This track is fairly brutal at the bottom. It's not brutal, it's just full of jank. The lift's still running. Look at this. What are they doing? Where are they going? Oh, hang on, Tour de France. I think finishes in Chatel today. Bonsoir. Bonjour. That's some French now. Let's have a piss.